Alright, so this is just a quick video to show you how to make an animated stack um, in Photoshop as an animated GIF to import into PowerPoint for people if you're creating like a self-review PowerPoint um, where it'd be nice to save some clicks um, and have an animated stack. So uh, if you go to File Scripts and then you come down here to Load Files into Stack. So um, it'll open up this uh, dialog box then and you can go to Browse and select the images you want. And I'm just going to show some... Um, fibro cartilage fill-in in the trochlear groove, so I'm going to grab one slice above it and then one slice below it, just a couple slices here, um, and then I'm going to click OK, and then it'll populate those into my layers palette over here on the right, and then I'm just going to grab my marquee tool and select the area, once it finishes loading these, okay, I'm going to grab the marquee tool, select the area I want to crop to, um, image crop, all right, and so uh, now I need to make these um, layers into frames in an animation, so I'm going to go to window, um, timeline, so I need to bring up my timeline, and it has uh, two options here. I think it's defaulted to video, but I do frames a lot, so I'm going to go create frame animation, and then I'm going to click the button, and then it'll load up the initial frame here, and we want all of them, so uh, what I'm going to go over here in this tiny little drop arrow box, I want to go to make frames from layers. So now it's populated, uh, each layer is a frame, um, but they're in actually the reverse order that I want them, so I'm just going to reverse them, so you can go to reverse frames here. Um, so now we've reversed their order, and uh, if we play this, you can see it plays really fast because um, they're set to zero seconds. So I'm going to select all of my frames, and I want those to go uh, for half a second per frame. And you can adjust those individually if you want, and uh, to maybe hold longer on one frame to show something. And then uh, I want this to loop forever, and so I'm just going to play this, make sure it's going how we want. Okay, it's looping through those nicely, and so that will just play infinitely. Um, and so that's what we want, and you can add in arrows to track with something on each uh, frame if you want and that's a little bit trickier uh, you can play with that but uh, now we want to save this uh, as an animated GIF so uh, the way you do that is you do save for web um, which is control alt shift s you hold all of those at once that's what I usually do but I think uh, it's in the export frame here so I'm not sure why that's legacy maybe there's a better way to do it I don't know what it is um, so we want to make sure we're on GIF usually it's by default it's set to JPEG or PNG but we want a GIF um, you want the highest uh, grayscale range 256 there um, which is the most you can do uh, and everything else looks good here I always just play the animation one more time make sure it's cycling the way it's supposed to make sure it's looping forever otherwise uh, if it's set to once or three times it's gonna do it a couple times and then all of a sudden the animation stops and you don't, don't know why so alright we'll save that and uh, that's it so um, let me replace that so that's our um, animated gif uh, and I hope that helps you thanks